Okay, so before I begin and doing the tutorial right now, I'm just going to give you a quick look at my current setup. So I have here an ASUS PG278Q monitor. So it's a G-Sync monitor. Actually, a little bit dated already since it was around, if I'm not mistaken, 2017-2018. For my keyboard, I have the ROG Strix Deluxe TLX version. This is one of the latest keyboards right now from ROG where it even has the customization for every game's RGB, aura lighting, sync, and even a leather uh, wrist pad. So it's more of an, a little bit more of a above luxury in terms of the gaming keyboards right now. Uh, if, on my PC or on my laptop, I have here the Asus ZenBook Duo. Um, each has one of its own mouse. So I'm using a Bluetooth mouse for the laptop and then a wired mouse for the PC. And then for my PC, it's a little bit dated, but forgive me guys, this is a 4th generation Intel Core i7 4790HK processor. So I think it's a little bit decent until now. And then we have an ROG Strix Gaming GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card right now. And then 16GB of RAM for the whole PC setup. I have an SSD uh, set up for the whole PC and then hard disk uh, via um, Seagate Fire CUDA for the alternative or the additional storage. So um, I'm kind of satisfied already of this setup. I'm not really more fan of spending too much on an, uh, PCIe or NDM um, storage or those very fancy those uh, or the RTX series of graphics. So for me right now, this is more than decent enough because I'm not really more of a super serious gamer right now. Actually, in my profile, I'm a little bit more on the retro side gaming. So I use P primarily my PC for video editing and my laptop for my work. So it's mostly Excel, a lot, tons of tabs in Chrome's and a lot of applications. The most resource consuming application should I been using is Photoshop paired with Premiere and then a lot of Chrome tabs. That's it. Um, aside from that, I'm kind of happy with my current setup right now. At least the keyboard is the latest one right now. Uh, so that's the important part factor right now. And my only wish is I wish I have our, our, the whole ROG Aura lighting setup right now. But uh, we can't be too demanding right now given the current situation okay so for the router i have the asus ac86u router right now so this is one of the routers that can do ai mesh already uh, the both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency already and it's one of the things that you should really really have on a house especially in two-story house so so you have ample signals all throughout the house even though it's a little bit far away especially that you're living on a multi-floored house and a lot of rooms, I really recommend to have a router such as this one, okay? So I'm going to give you the advantage of syncing the two in terms of just one keyboard and one mouse setup. Because the beauty of it is you save space on your table. You have more resources or space here for other items so that you can focus more in just one screen. So that's the main thing that we're going to do right now okay so let's go and check it out okay so i just finished up setting up the two pcs to connect to each other using one mouse and one keyboard now the software i use about this is the input director input director is a open source software so it's free where you can connect two computers at the same time in just one network so Heads up, you need a LAN connection, so they have to be in the local area network connected to each other. So the beauty of this one is all I have to do is just open, like for example, this one. I can use my mouse and even here, my mouse. So this is the host PC and this is the slave PC. All I have to do is just identify the name of the computer for each one. I assigned my PC or my main PC as the main or the master and then I assigned my laptop to become the slave so this is currently the input director right now as you can see I've enabled this as a master so I can just disable and enable as a master and then um, in the slave configuration I put here 
nothing because this is the main PC so technically all I have to do is just set it up here um, of course on the menu itself run input director on start up, start up and then assign this one as a master now everything is set up here uh, I suggest you also change this one preferred network interface whatever your network interface will be for your setup you have to assign it there so that the other device can detect it more easily and make sure in the firewalls, uh, firewall setup. Now going to the slave configuration PC, all I have to do is find the PC name of my master which is Hungry Geeks, the PC itself and then I add it here. So once you're there, all you have to do is what it's connected easily, global configurations again, run input director on setup on startup and then input director as a slave so each and every time you put up your uh, boot up your pc it will become a slave so, and we go back here to the main pc just go to the master preferences or master configuration you can see here the screen uh, configuration so this is the main pc right now and then i can easily assign the asus zenbook duo or my pc laptop on the right side you can also be at the left side but depending on your current setup could also be at the above could also be in the bottom so but this is my current setup right now and that's how it should be okay so in the global preferences as well please uncheck the cursor water ripple effect this what will this do is actually once you're at the edge of the screen there will be a water effect ripple that's going to be a transition uh, it's a little bit annoying in honestly so uh, I'd like to just remove it and that's it guys once you in installed input director let's start both PCs so earlier I had the problem where I wasn't able to identify the PC vice versa so I just restarted the PC for both Windows devices and then I was able to identify them as you can see, two PCs in just one mouse and it's connected from each other. But then again, don't judge this as a dual monitor. It's not. It's just one mouse, one keyboard for both PC. And it's really nice to have one right now. Alright, that's it. Hope you guys like the work from home station I have right now where I'm working on my laptop and my desktop as one with just using a software called Input Director. So it's nice that I'm currently using the ROG scope and of course one mouse to control two devices. So when I'm doing streaming, I'm using my personal PC. And then of course for work is my laptop. So it's kind of saving the resources of my PC right now more onto the streaming more onto the content and then more on the communication for my laptop I know this is quite a generous for a setup right now for work from home and but for you guys that you have the same situation as me it might be a good idea to implement this because you still need to organize and of course organize your life and your desk because at this time of where we are all right now currently at our home working from home it might be quarantine or lockdown it's nice to keep it minimal and of course organized to give you more sense of freedom and in um, in terms of productivity so that's it guys thank you for watching and of course with every video of hungry geeks make sure you visit our website www.hungrygeeks.ph for more information and of course reviews of all the tech products that we're reviewing you can also follow us on our social media channels in terms of facebook instagram and of course Make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're uploading content that truly gives you more information. As promised for the winner of the Extreme 19-inch HDTV, your name is actually under the description below. So congratulations to you. I'll be able to ship your prize once the quarantine is over but worry not i'll make sure that you will receive this after the quarantine or after the lockdown so stay safe there will be more giveaways in the future so don't worry and i'll make sure that in the next next coming videos we'll do it a little bit more exciting so thank you so much guys make sure you follow us and stay safe at home bye